so in this section we are going to implement the slider for our application so in the last section we already fetching data uh, for the slider okay so let's go back to our vs code and if you see right with this base url and uh, with the uh, http client api source we are able to successfully fetch this particular uh, slider information in home.js component right so uh, for slider go to the component folder and create a new file called slider.js okay add the default template we will add like this okay and save it make sure after in the home.js after the search bar you will add this slider component make sure to import the slider as well and save it if you see we are able to display the slider name okay so now again uh, go back to the slider.js here what we will do uh, in home.js right we fetch this get slider so instead of uh, fetching in a home.js we will fetch this uh, slider in slider.js so copy this line of code okay copy like this and paste it here make sure you will import all the necessary uh, libraries like use effect or uh, here we want glo global api right like this and make sure in the slider you are getting all the data okay so result i will just like this and i will just make sure that we are getting data okay perfectly we are all getting everything right now next we will save this data uh, in a state right so what will i will define one variable called constant in this constant we will define the state so let's say slider comma set slider equal to use state okay. and by um, by default i'm passing the empty array now here we'll just set the value of the slider by setting the set slider and i will put the result inside that now if you see right uh this is our response for the slider right and right now all our information contain the attribute field correct so and inside again in the image we have all the images correct so for our simplicity purpose we will remap this particular uh, fields uh, according to our use right so here what i will do uh, i will remove like this okay and uh, will map this one right so i will be constant uh, response is equal to result dot map and i want to map the item right so map item okay so in inside this one we will map it for example for id we will map item dot id so here right inside the result we again have data right so just make sure you will uh, access the data using the result dot data and then in the item we have item dot id so here i think we have to map like this okay and then after item id we want the name of the uh, slider so name can be accessed by using item dot attributes if you see right this is the for example item this is our first item this is our second item right so first item we have id we already access the then we have to access the name so name can be accessed by using the attributes so copy this one so item dot attributes and then we can access by using the name okay after that we want image so let's say image then same item dot attributes dot now in the attribute we have the image url inside this image uh, object right so let's say image dot again inside the image we want we have the field called data data and inside data we again have field called attributes so make sure you access the attributes and then we have a field in the attribute called the url so just ignore this format and we can access directly this url right so this is a high quality url which we uploaded right or depends on your choice you can also uh, face this thumbnail as well right it's up to you uh, thumbnail size is a little bit smaller but for now i will access directly the url okay or you depends on the size you can access it but for now we will access url and i paste the url here okay now interesting thing if you try to uh, console this response right 
I try to console this response here and let's see how we are getting the data right and if you see right we are getting the data what we want right if you see object id is one and image right <clears throat> let's let's clean this one little bit so what i will do i will remove this one and also i will write here slider list in order to check whether we are getting correct data or not and i print it i saved everything let's go back here right and if i if you see right i'm getting id i'm getting image and i'm getting name as well okay and this second i don't know why we are getting this error but we'll see the issue why we are getting but for now we are getting the list uh, whatever the list we want right so now make sure you will update the slider so just make it um, by, by setting the slider value by setting the set slider and inside that we'll put the response as simple as that so this is our response correct i will come in this console because we don't want it anymore <clears throat> now we have to display it on the screen if you see the mock-up right we have this image and uh, if i scroll this right i want to move the slider horizontally as well in order to uh, display these sliders right uh, we have to iterate this one so for that one we are using flat list so in react native flat list is one of the powerful uh, property where we can iterate the value okay from the list or array list or whatever right so uh, let's define the flat list okay. and close the tag so inside the flat list we have to provide some um, value and flat list provides some properties say for example in order to uh, display the data right we have to add the data for the uh, flat list so for example in the data property we have to pass the data which data we want to show it on the screen so in this case the uh, data is our slider right because uh, if you see we store our data in the slider so we are passing that one in a slider then we have to render the uh, this particular slider right one by one so in order to uh, display that one uh, flat list has one property called render item inside that we have to define the value for example we'll say slider okay or just say item uh, no need to say slider so item okay so this is arrow function like this right make sure uh, the all the curly brace and everything you have to uh, display like this only okay otherwise it will not work uh, it will not sometimes it will not give error as well so <laughs> make sure that one then i will add one view okay and uh, i will close this one inside that we want to display the image correct so i will what i will do i will add the image with the react native image proper image uh, library and then close the tag so here we have the url right so we have to pass source and in source we have uri and then we have to pass the uri so in this case is item dot image so if you see we have this image right that we that what we are passing okay and save it now uh, let's give some width and height for this one right so i will give inline only so let's say style and let's say width to be 100 for now and the uh, height to be 100 okay and save it now once you say you will see this uh, image is displaying on the screen okay so now what we have to do we want to give the width to the, uh, the screen of the uh, width right so in order to define that one right here we have one property called dimensions okay so dimension has the some method so in this case we will say get okay so we want to get the dimension of what we want to screen or window so in this screen we will see screen and then what we want we want to hide or width so in this case we want to width so what it will do it will return the dimension of the screen uh the dimension of the uh, screen and the from that we can fetch the width only okay so save it if you see it's it's uh, covering the all the screens with the defined width right and then we can increase the height for example i will say 160 okay and 150 is fine for me okay like this perfect okay now uh let's make the corner to be rounded so i will say border radius to be round uh, rounded so 10 for example okay yeah this is fine for me now okay and 
for this view we can give some uh, here only we can give some style and we so we will give some margin from the top so let's say margin double curly braces margin from the top we'll say 10 it will come down little bit now it's coming in vertically right so we want to show it horizontally correct so in order to define horizontally uh, flat list have a property called horizontal right and if you say horizontal by default the value of horizontal is false but we can define it as a true and if i save it it will say it's 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 showing horizontally right now i can scroll it if i scroll it like this right you can see this i can able to scroll this value okay now if you see correct this width uh, is too much if even though if i scroll until this points this uh, width is coming so what we will do we will multiply with the 0 0.9 for example let's say how it looks and if you see still uh, is bigger so i will say 85 and this is okay for me okay and what i will do i will also give margin from the right so i will say margin right and 10 maybe 15 and now if you see it have some gap it also have the value right perfect one more thing if you observe right uh this uh, when i uh, scroll is horizontal right it is showing the scroll bar we don't want that scroll bar so in the flat list you can also remove the scroll bar so you can just write scroll bar enable and you can say false okay and sure display now you will not see the scroll bar at all oh sorry the scroll enable is different one okay so we have a property called show uh, horizontal scroll indicator where you can see the false okay and then save it now if you see we don't see any uh, scroll bar at all perfect and uh, i hope you understand this particular uh, things okay i will just change this to 87 for example little bit okay perfect now uh, i hope you understand this so what we learned in this particular section that we can able to uh, fade the data okay and we we create a new component called slider then we uh, we uh, save that particular slide in one uh, each state and then we iterate that state using the flat list so flat list is very powerful tool in the react native where you can iterate as long as um, the list or whatever you want right and throughout the application at many places we are using the flat list so understand this flat list so guys um, uh, in the next section right we will uh, implement this video course okay and uh, then i will i will show you how i added that in the uh, strappy and then uh, we will display it on the screen okay